In this video, we will discuss the effects of inventory errors on the financial statements. Unfortunately, errors can occur in accounting for inventory. In some cases, errors are caused by failure to count or price the inventory correctly. In other cases, errors occur because companies do not properly recognize the transfer of legal title to goods that are in transit. When inventory errors occur, they affect both the income statement and the balance sheet. The ending inventory of one period becomes the beginning inventory of the next period. Inventory errors affect the calculation of cost of goods sold and net income in two periods. If beginning inventory is understated, cost of goods sold will be understated and net income will be overstated. If, however, ending inventory is understated, cost of goods sold will be overstated and net income will be understated. This table shows the effects of inventory errors on the current year's income statement. To solve this multiple choice question, let's first solve for cost of goods sold. Right, so let's assume our beginning inventory is 10, our purchases are 20, the ending inventory is 10, so our cost of goods sold is 20. Now let's go ahead and understate the ending inventory. Beginning inventory remains the same at 10. There's no change in our purchases, that's gonna remain at 20, but our ending inventory is going to be understated or lower. In this instance, it's five. Right, which means our cost of goods sold is 25. Right, our cost of goods sold is overstated. If our cost of good, goods sold is overstated, then our net income will be understated. So the correct answer here is B. If you understate your ending inventory, you will overstate cost of goods sold. An error in the ending inventory of the current period will have a reverse effect on net income in the next accounting period. Over the two years, total net income is correct because the errors offset each other. The correctness of the ending inventory depends entirely on the accuracy of taking and costing the inventory at the balance sheet date. This slide illustrates that an error in the ending inventory of the current period will have a reverse effect on the net income of the next accounting period. Over the two years, total net income is correct because the errors offset each other. And you can see in this example that in 2016, the net income was understated by $3,000. And then in 2017, net income was overstated by $3,000 so that these two errors offset each other at the end of year two. The effect of ending inventory errors on the balance sheet can be determined by using the basic accounting equation. Assets must equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. If the ending inventory is overstated, then the assets will be overstated. There's no effect on liabilities, and if assets are overstated, stockholders' equity will also be overstated. Whereas if the ending inventory is understated, the assets will be understated as well as stockholders' equity.